So, um, in your own time, Jordan. All right, is it the phone? Yeah. Oh, great. Um, so, my final project is about the obsession of Ted Bundy. He was a serial killer back in the 1970s, known for killing over 30 women. So, as I said before, I've done some secondary research, like to find out the following things about Ted Bundy. He was, he was described as being a chameleon. He blended in with natural people. No one ever suspected him for killing people. Chameleonic? That's a great word. Um, he was known for his charm, but, it, but after people found out he was a serial killer, it was very ghoulish. So, everyone found it a fascination of how normal someone. Oh, just kick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's going to be great. Um, so, from the two photos there, from being a young boy, you wouldn't think that someone like that would turn out to be a serial killer. Mm. Um, people were intrigued because he did look no normal. If you didn't see the like the mugshot there of him, you wouldn't think that he was a killer. But also, at one point, he knew of his popularity, so he actually claimed that he was more popular than Disney World when he was talking about it, when he spoke about himself. Um, for my primary research, I decided that I'd do a survey, but also looked at Instagram. I found out from the survey, people did think that he was a charming and good looking man, if they didn't know he was a serial killer, of course, but then they changed their opinion after that. But also, I looked on Instagram and found out that there is accounts for Ted Bundy, and he does have his own hashtag, actually. Is that him? Is no, he dead? Uh, he's dead, yes, but there's people who are making fan accounts of Ted Bundy. Right. Was he killed? Did he die in prison, or did he was, um, was he executed? He was, he was, uh, he was um, electrocuted. Right. It's been 30 years this year since he died. Right, and are you going to mention this, or was there a series on him or something? Um, there was a Netflix documentary for it, right. and they've also opened a display up in America showing the car that he stole and all of the evidence that they used to... And did you, is that how you, what inspired you? Did you see the series, or did um, you hear about I, it? You I watched? already knew about him. Right. I was very intrigued with serial killers. I knew about John Wayne Gacy and Jeffrey Dahmer. So I found out about Ted Bundy and I thought... Oh, Is he the most interesting then, do you think? Yeah, because other people you could kind of tell. Yeah. Je like John Wayne Gacy was a clown. Yeah. It, he actually inspired it. Oh, right. Okay. Because he was the killer clown. And Jeffrey Dahmer was just... He was just mental. Weird, wasn't <laughs> Yeah, it? there's actually a film about Jeffrey Dahmer as well. It oh. came out in 2017. They're actually releasing a film for Ted Bundy this year as well. Oh, right. In May. Okay. Um, so I looked more into the pages, and they are fan accounts, as you can see there, it's a Ted Bundy fan. And they post things for Charles Manson, who was a cult leader back in the day, before he died in prison. And these accounts are, are getting, like, removed. It turns out that I managed to message one of the accounts, and they said that people get, people, there's loads of these accounts, but they're getting taken down a lot due to reporting. Why? Um, the people who are like posts and things, it's very insensitive, it's sexualising Ted Bundy. Right, okay. So they talk about how attractive he was, but like, it's like nowadays, it's teenagers nowadays that have been obsessing with him, right. ever since this documentaries came out. So my idea is I wanted to research the obsession of why people actually found him very interesting and why people kind of lusted over him back in the day. Um, I want to get the reasons why, obviously, because no one really knows. I'm going to create a podcast and a blog explaining it all. Um, I'm going to discuss a subject that I'm actually interested in, but in a sensitive way, so I don't give any disrespect to victims. Right, so you're not going to sens sensationalise it, is that no. what you're right. I don't want to um, put disrespect out there, because it was a horrible thing that happened. Yes, I'm interested in the subject. But I don't agree with what happened. How many people did he kill? Um, he was sentenced for thirty, but he's thought of uh, like a hundred. Whoa! He only confessed to thirty like the day before he died. Right. But he's thought to have killed over a hundred women. But they all had something in common. They all had a middle, like long middle parted hair, and it was due to one of his ex girlfriends, who started it off. But. I also said, like, I've showed the obsession of Ted Bundy now, but also found out why he started killing as well, which was the pornographic magazines that he found, even though he lived in a Christian household. 
So <laughs> that probably explains it. Yeah, I'm going to show the proof of the, the obsession. So the documentaries that have came out, and of course the messages that people send about other accounts that people put up. So are you, how are you going to do that in a podcast? You're just going to play cl voice clips, or yeah, I'm. I've been um, asking people if I could talk to them about it, and they said they're perfectly fine with it, just to not give any out any information. What is this Ted Bundy fans or uh -huh, just Ted Bundy fans? Right, so people that you found online. Uh huh. So you're going to record conversations. Yeah, interviews. they said that they don't want their names and stuff out there because they will get rubbish for it. Yeah. Because it is a fan of a serial killer who did murder women. It's a big thing how women are a fan of someone that killed women. Mm. It just doesn't work out. But I'm also showing how social media fuels this obsession. By the way, the making films, the making Zac Efron play Ted Bundy, a high school musical star that everyone <laughs> loved. <laughs> He's now playing Ted Bundy. And so for my budget, I've decided that I would have a £2,000 budget. I did total it all up and it came to £1,506. And that was even getting a few things, so an extra laptop in case the other one broke, an extra microphone, because you've always got to make sure. But the idea of, of having a £2,000 budget was that if yeah. you need to travel a bit further, because you don't know who you're interviewing oh, and stuff like that, and anything could happen, so you need a bit extra cash on you. And any questions? So... It, it sounds like a very interesting topic and a lot to put in a po Are you doing one podcast? I'm doing a series of podcasts which talks about the different things. So I'll talk about the 1970s, when he was around and how he was obsessed with, then moving on to nowadays and then moving on to how social media does it. It's a three-part right. series. So podcast. it's three part. Have you, have you definitely decided what parts? Uh, are I've then? decided the three parts and it's a three-part series of right. how he was obsessed with. Right, oh, that sounds really interesting. You've got uh, interviewers lined up. Yeah, I do. Do any people, classmates as backup, do any people that you know have an opinion on him that could, uh, uh, you know, also... Um, the opinions that I've asked people for, it is just the same typical thing of he's good looks, he's charm. Not many people will tell us, like, a good reason or, like, a, a unique reason of why they think someone would be obsessed with Ted Bundy. Yeah. So it's kind of trying yeah. to find the people that will give this answer. We are, we are obsessed with weirdness of killers in some yeah. ways, aren't we? Um, brilliant. Have you got any questions there, Ben? Um, no. No? All right, brilliant.